asylum from Germany. They fled German. Homes, uh, Homeschooling is illegal in, in Germany. Germany. Yeah, you can't homeschool your kid. And they wanted to because it is a total godless society over in Germany. And they believe deeply in God. And so they came over here to raise their kids in accordance with their Christian beliefs. And they came over here. They were initially given asylum. And then the uh, administration told these, these basically, these pilgrims, you got to go home. And, okay? and normally, keep in mind, this is a big deal for us. We're a big political asylum uh, haven. Yeah, you, and you're from Cuba. Yeah. And you get a stay. Once you're, you make it to our shore. Right. If you touch land in America, right. you immediately have political asylum. So we have 12 million illegals, minimum, really, 12 million illegals living here in the United States. And this one family comes here, does it exactly the right way. They play by the rules. They get a job. They're not living off of you or me. He's teaching. I think he's a piano teacher, right? And he gives lessons to teach the piano. They live... Um, here in the United States, and they are playing absolutely by the rules. They bought a four-acre farm in Tennessee. They're not hurting anybody. Not hurting a not hurting a soul. The 15-year-old said, "If I had a chance to talk to the president, I would ask him to let us stay in this great country of freedom and opportunity." They have been teaching their kids what America is all about. We've had them here. We had them on the set here. And I did an hour-long interview with them, and they were a wonderful, wonderful family. So now what happened? Well, the um, Justice Department went after them and went after them hard and said, we're going to ship you back because you don't have a right to homeschool your children. That is not a universal right. I warn you, this is not about the Romiki family. This is about your family and your right if this family does not have a right to be able to homeschool their kids, neither do you. So we have gone from a family that said, for religious reasons, I want to homeschool my kids. If you send me back to my country, I will lose my children. Our family will be broken up again. Do you think this government has a problem with breaking families up? Don't we hear that all the time? Yeah, you can't separate families. We can't do that. But really? That's a, but that's a lie. Yeah, it is. It's a lie. They're breaking up families all the, all the time. time. If you're an American citizen, your family can be your broken family up. can be broken you, up. If you commit a crime in America, your family will be broken up because you will go to jail. Your family's broken up. Sorry, we don't. We, that's not a thing in America, except with illegal immigrants. Right. And then the Justice Department wrote in a legal brief last year, the goal in Germany is for an open, pluralistic society. Teaching tolerance to children of all backgrounds helps to develop the ability to interact as a fully functioning citizen in Germany. So get out and go back there and be a fully functioning citizen in Germany is essentially what they're saying. <laughs> Just, we, we're telling the pilgrims to go home. And we're telling this them is, they don't tolerate people. Right. This is exactly why our pilgrims came here. And they came here for a reason. And rather than see that it's the German government not being tolerant of them, we're accusing apparently the Ramikis of not being tolerant of yes, Germany's of pluralistic, Germany. pluralistic society. Right. They're the bigots. Because they don't want to play along with the rest of Germany. And they're like, I, I, we'll, we're fine with our neighbors. We just don't want... And the, the state has come into their house and kick their doors down and taken their children. And are we supposed to uh, forget the record of Germany when it comes to societal yes. decisions? Yes, uh, apparently, I, yeah. I mean, I don't know that yes, uh, disagreeing with German uh, uh, edicts uh, by the has way, necessarily been seen uh, uh, in a negative not, light in history. Not just a German edict. This is one that remained on the books from the Nazi regime. Yeah, they put it in. Yeah, yeah. It was Hitler this, was, this was Hitler that put this law mm -hmm. onto the books, and it remains on the books. So this family is saying, I disagree with what Hitler told us to do. And we're sending them back. Now, I don't know what can be done. I don't know if there is... Uh, That's a Supreme Court. I don't know where you go from there. I, well, I mean, to go. there's got to be a state. There has got to be a state that um, disagrees with this because the attorney general just last week said, you know, conscious conscience trumps law. 
Oh, yeah, he did. What you believe yes, is did. right trumps yes, law. Yes, he did. And he told that to the attorney oh generals gosh. of the United States. So there's got to be some huh. attorney general in the United States that says, no, we're mm. not, you're not going to take this family. You I, won't take this family. I if General, General Abbott uh, has some thoughts on conscience. Here in Texas? In Texas. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. I mean, that is, Maybe you know, that it. is, that is, this is what we're headed for, gang. I mean, that is a, that's. Well, I would say this is a precursor to. Uh, taking to, ours. Yeah, to eliminating homeschooling in America. Yeah, it is. It, it is. shows the There's animosity no toward it, that's yeah. for sure. There's no reason to do this. What This None. this family's not hurting anybody. This family came and did it exactly the right way. <laughs> what is the problem here? I don't, know. I don't know what even aroused their interest in this story. Correct. This is somebody who is looking for stories on uh, homeschoolers. You cannot. You have to make a case. This is Cass Sunstein's fingerprints all over it. You better enforce this one, and you better win this one if you're going to win the cases down the road where you're, t- where you're telling families they can't homeschool. That's what this is. I'm, I'm telling you with everything in me. Do not, please, dear God, please, dear God, do not make me right on this one. Please don't let me be right on this one. But everything in me tells me that's what this story is about. Making sure they shut down homeschooling because they're already doing it, gang. Listen, they're already doing it in your regular classrooms. You don't have a right to tell them about Common Core. They don't want to hear you. They've already arrested people and thrown people out for asking reasonable questions. What do you think that's a precursor for? You think they're going to, when, when, when you say, I'm taking my kid out of here, do you think that's going to last very long? Because let me tell you what happens. 